Big cats are animals that are often admired for their beauty and incredible presence. And yet, the world seems to be divided into two groups – cat lovers on one side and dog lovers on the other. But for those who think that canines are more powerful than felines, well, this video may prove you wrong. From the largest feline specimen ever recorded in history to a small yet very skilled hunter wild cat, here are the 20 most dangerous big cats in the world. Number 20. Caracal have you ever heard of the caracal? This feline has a little bit of cat and a lot of wild animal. For this reason, despite its appearance and beauty, it is not an animal suitable for coexistence with human beings. The caracal is found in the savannas and semi-deserts of Africa and Western Asia. It's a very difficult animal to see, since it never approaches humans, and it's nocturnal, which doesn't help its sighting either. These cats are 100 times more dangerous than a dog, and here Here's why. The beauty of the caracal is indisputable. They are medium or even large in size. They can measure up to 92 centimeters long without including the tail. Their weight is an average of 17 kilos, although they can exceed that figure. Although its dimensions aren't particularly overwhelming, it must be kept in mind that it is a wild, strong, and powerful animal. Its characteristics include, in addition to strength, speed and resistance, and highly heightened senses, especially sight and hearing. They are predators and not to be messed with, capable of hunting large animals, even larger than themselves. Their preferred prey are hares, rodents in general, antelope calves, and birds. They especially enjoy hunting all kinds of birds, since they are able to catch them in the treetops and even when they take flight. Caracals can jump up to 3 meters high. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Cheetah. They are unique in almost every way. Cheetahs are the least aggressive of the big cats. In the wild, cheetahs rarely attack. They are solitary animals and tend to avoid their peers. Even during mating season, when males compete with each other and chase females, they rarely fight each other. In fact, recorded observations of serious fighting between cheetahs can be counted on one hand. For an animal that depends on its speed to hunt, it is the fastest land mammal in the world. Any injury, however small, can mean a death sentence. Despite their little aggressiveness, they are the fastest mammals on Earth. Let's not forget, they are, nonetheless, wild animals. Their spectacular velocity is an advantage given by their claws. They are semi-retractable, which helps them to favor their acceleration. Their great speed is very effective for hunting. For this, they need large open spaces and good visibility. The cheetah usually moves at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour and during the pursuit of its prey can reach 110 kilometers per hour. Once the prey is reached, they quickly ingest up to 10 kilos of meat in one sitting. The reason is that other predators may steal their prey while they are recovering from the strenuous race, for which they'll need to spend between 5 and 50 minutes. Their favorite prey is antelopes. Number 18. Bobcat. Bobcats are cute, there's no doubt about that. But let's not forget, they are also fierce hunters that can easily kill prey much larger than themselves. This wild cat hunts by stealth. However, it can deliver a death blow with a leaping pounce that can cover as much as 10 feet. Bobcats, like most domestic cats, are solitary animals. Females choose a secluded den to raise her young. Usually, she gives birth to a litter of 1 to 6 kittens, and they will remain with their mom for 9 to 12 months. Once they learn how to hunt for themselves, they will set out on their own. Number 19. 
Sadly, in some areas, bobcats are still hunted for their soft and spotted fur, which can get quite pricey in the fashion industry. Luckily, in the United States, the populations of bobcats are believed to be rather large, with maybe as many as one million cats in the country. These creatures are aloof, elusive, and nocturnal, so they're quite difficult to spot. Despite humans almost never seeing them, they roam throughout much of North America and adapt well to such diverse habitats as forests, swamps, deserts, and even urban areas. They are roughly twice the size of a domestic cat and have long legs and very large paws. Number 17. Lion the lion is a predatory animal and one of the most expert hunters in the world. Lions can be aggressive, as hunting is their instinct, and humans can be viewed as prey. There are several reasons that lions can attack humans, the most common being hunger and the fact that they perceive us as easy targets. Likewise, females can perceive humans as a threat to their pups. Lions do not attack out of malice, but rather out of pure instinct. Each living being feels accustomed to its own space where it lives, to its habitat, and it feels threatened when another species arrives and invades its space. In addition, it's important to consider that the lion is not a domesticated animal. It is a wild apex predator. The type of prey captured by lions usually varies from insects to giraffes, although they tend to show a preference for large animals. These big cats usually go out in search of their food at sunset. While the males take care of the young, it is the females who go hunting. Lions are usually organized in packs of five or six members, although sometimes they can be seen alone or in pairs. Their form of attack consists of stalking the prey and, when they are at the right distance, chasing it at high speed until it's knocked down. Number 16. Puma Cougar also known as mountain lion, the puma measures between 85 to 150 centimeters long, head and body, plus a 45 to 85 centimeter tail. Their weight ranges from 34 to 105 kilograms, exceptionally up to 120 kilograms, the male being more robust than the female. The cougar has a slender shape, a broad head with rounded ears, and a long tail of the same thickness throughout its entire length. In the adult, the fur is soft, short, and uniform in color, while in the pups, it presents a very dark modeling during the first three or four months of life that is lost with maturity. Black or almost black specimens occur very rarely, and there are also cases of albinism, although they are extremely rare. The puma has big paws and proportionally the largest hind legs in the cat family. This feature allows it to jump and has a great sprinting ability. In general, the puma is solitary and prefers crepuscular and nocturnal habits, with peaks of activity at dusk and dawn. They spend most of the day resting in rocky crevices perched in tree branches or hidden in tall grasses. With quick and silent movements, they are fast runners, very powerful in jumping, and adept swimmers. They climb trees with amazing agility, being able to climb up or down from them with a single jump of more than 10 meters. Number 15. Black Panther the Black Panther is perhaps one of the most amazing felines, as well as one of the most feared. The main reasons to admire this majestic animal is its magnificent black color, its rarity, and its mysteriousness. Contrary to what one may think, the panther is not a species in its own right. In reality, panthers are leopards. Therefore, the Black Panther is nothing more than a black leopard, whose color is due to a genetic mutation. As proof, when you take a closer look at it, you may notice that its fur is not as black as it appears. In fact, we can distinguish the characteristic rosettes of the leopard. These spots are in fact the fingerprints of leopards, as they are unique to each animal. Most cats are famous for their agility and ability to climb trees. This is also the case with the Black Panther, who happens to be an excellent climber, but also a great jumper. It also spends most of its time in trees, either sleeping, hiding, or eating its prey out of reach of other predators. The Black Panther is a solitary animal, independent, but also very powerful. It has a jaw of unmatched power in the feline world. In fact, not only can it lift prey weighing 150 kilos to 6 meters high, but it's also capable of chewing their bones and even their skulls.
Number 14. Eurasian Lynx The Eurasian Lynx is a medium-sized cat and the largest of all lynx species. Their weight ranges from 40 to 66 pounds. Males typically weigh about 10 pounds more than females. Its tail is shorter than most cats, with a black tip on it. The body of this lynx is tan in color with areas of black markings as well as some white areas. The fur becomes thicker in the winter and thins out in the warmer months of the year. The power of the Eurasian lynx comes from its legs. Its feet are very large, with webbing between the claws, very similar in shape to snowshoes used by humans. Their bodies allow them to jump very high. These movements make hunting easier. They also help them avoid predators. You will find the Eurasian lynx in the forest regions of Siberia and Asia. Efforts have been made in recent years to reintroduce them into areas of Western Europe. They tend to stay around ledges and rocks from where they can see their surroundings. These places also allow them to pounce on their prey. There are a variety of different food sources for the Eurasian lynx. These include rodents, rabbits, rabbits, foxes, deer, and even wild boars. They tend to prefer smaller prey. It takes less energy to bring them down, and there's no risk of being injured in the process. However, if they take down larger prey, they will be able to eat for several days. Number 13. Tiger Easily recognizable by its black striped red fur, it is the largest wild cat and one of the largest terrestrial carnivores on the planet. On average, an adult tiger can weigh 450 pounds, which is about the same weight as eight 10 year old kids. Their tail alone is around three feet long and it stands three feet tall as well. Nobody goes against a tiger and survives to tell the story. They have four inch long teeth and claws as long as house keys. The species is divided into nine subspecies with minor differences in size and behavior. An apex predator, it mainly hunts deer and wild boar, although it can attack larger prey, such as buffaloes. Until the 19th century, the tiger was reputed to be a man-eater. The social structure of tigers makes them a solitary animal. The male has a territory that encompasses the domains of several females and does not participate in the education of the young. The tiger is found throughout Asia, although its range has been greatly reduced since the beginning of the 20th century. The species is considered endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and is protected in all the countries where it lives. Hunted until the middle of the 20th century, tiger populations have declined sharply, dropping from an estimated number of 100,000 individuals in 1900 to around 3,500 tigers, the majority of whom live in India. Number 12. Ocelot it is widely distributed in America, mainly in tropical environments where exist many different subspecies. The ocelot is a wild cat of medium size in Mesoamerica. It is the third largest cat after the jaguar and the puma and the largest of the small spotted cats. It has large ears and a great sense of hearing with large and expressive eyes. The forelimbs have five fingers and the hindquarters Four. The paws are provided with pads which allow the animal to walk without making noise and with long, sharp, and fully retractable nails. Their eyes are very well adapted to changes in light. The pupils contract to form a thin, black, vertical line during bright days, but they open to a big circle in dark situations. It presents a great versatility in the use of habitat, being able to inhabit humid jungles, mountainous areas, and even semi-deserts. Its habitat extends from Texas to Argentina. In its habitat, it is one of the most important carnivores in its trophic chain, since it uses territories that jaguars and pumas cannot use feeding on smaller species. They are a terrestrial feline, but also arboreal. They are cryptic, territorial, opportunistic predators and solitary animals. They are nocturnal, spending most of the day sleeping on the branches of trees or hidden among the vegetation. They tend to ambush their prey. Number 11. Serval. The serval is a magnificent feline that can be found in Africa. It looks like a big, wild savanna cat. Quite easy to domesticate, this animal, idolized by the ancient Egyptians, resents being separated from its master. The serval is a carnivore that belongs to the family Felidae and to the genus Leptalaris, of which it is the only species.
It is one of the most widespread carnivores on the African continent, found mainly in the savannas where, due to the presence of marshes, the grass is high and the humidity omnipresent. It has the same ancestor as the lion, but we can also note that the serval alone constitutes a very specific lineage. It could not, therefore, be assimilated to other felines. The serval is slender with thin, slender legs and a long neck. Its narrow head is surmounted by two rounded ears. Depending on the individual, the fur has either spots or dots. It can also be simply marked at the level of the tail where we can see rings and spots or on the forehead. In addition, the color of the serval is variable. Some have black fur, but most are yellowish brown. There have also been some rare cases of servals with a white coat due to a pigmentary deficit called leucism, which is a genetic peculiarity. Number 10. Snow Leopard this big cat stands out for the fact that it can hunt prey that weighs four times as much as itself and because the length of its tail makes it very stable on the cliffs over which it runs. Curiously, its morphology prevents it from roaring, though. The snow leopard, or Panthera uncia, is one of the most important and powerful predators in the Central Asian mountain ranges. Feared and admired by Tibetan cultures and their herders, this emblematic carnivore can live at 6,000 meters of altitude. Precisely the inhospitable and remote nature of its habitat, together with its shyness and fur, make this feline one of the most unknown large carnivores on our planet. They have a more robust and shorter body than other cats, despite having one of the longest tails of all cat species. Its fur is thick and of different degrees of gray, with black rosettes, a white chest, and yellowish or brownish color gradations in some parts of the body. The eyes are pale green or gray, something rare amongst big cats. The snow leopard must be prepared to live in the cold and has several adaptations. It has relatively small and hairy ears and wide paws that act like snowshoes, similar to those of the polar bear. The length of its tail allows it an enormous amount of balance on the cliffs where it lives, where it makes some of the longest jumps in the animal kingdom. Number 9. Jaguar the jaguar is a felid carnivore of the Pantherino subfamily and genus Panthera. It is the only one of the five extant species of this genus found in America. It's also the largest cat in America and the third largest in the world, after the tiger and the lion. Its current distribution extends from the southern tip of the United States, continuing through much of Mexico, Central America, and South America to northern and northeastern Argentina. The jaguar is related to and closely resembles the leopard in physical appearance, but it's generally larger, more robust in build, and has behavior and habitat more in line with the tiger. It is closely associated associated with the presence of water and stands out for being a cat that likes to swim. It is fundamentally solitary. It hunts by ambushing, being opportunistic when choosing prey. It is a key species for the stabilization of the ecosystems in which it lives. Being a top predator, it regulates the populations of the species it captures. Adults have an exceptionally powerful bite, even compared to other large cats, allowing them to pierce the shells of armored reptiles such as turtles and use an unusual usual method of killing, directly attacking the head of the prey between the ears to deliver a lethal bite that pierces the skull with its fangs, reaching the brain. Number 8. Jaguarundi this is one of the strangest looking of the small cats. It's small in size, but larger than a domestic cat with a head shape and face very similar to those of the puma. It presents different shades in the coloration of its fur, one reddish brown and another almost black or grayish brown, both of which can be present in the same litter. Its body is long and slender with short limbs and a long tail. The head is small and flat with ears that are also small and rounded. The jaguarundi has a short, harsh coat. The hairs tend to be light at the base and tip, giving a grizzled appearance. Its constitution is similar in general to that of the puma, although unlike it, its size is much smaller. It has smaller ears, a more elongated shape, shorter legs, and its colors are more varied. 
Just like in the Puma, its color is always uniform without spots or lines. The range of the Jaguarundi includes southern Texas and both coastal areas of Mexico, Central America and South America except Chile, the region east of the Andes to northern Argentine Patagonia. It feeds on small mammals and birds. It also hunts reptiles and amphibians and benefits from fish that get caught on the banks of rivers and lakes. It is more active during the day. Number 7. Clouded Leopard the clouded leopard, Neophelis nebulosa, is one of the two species of felids belonging to the genus Neophelis. With arboreal habitats, this species is an excellent climber that moves agilely through the branches thanks to its long tail that acts as a seesaw. The fur is covered in large, irregular spots with a black edge and a brown interior, which helps the clouded leopard to blend in with the leaves. Its name comes precisely from these spots, which are similar to a cloud. In China, it is known as as mint leopard, since the spots are also reminiscent of the mint leaves. This animal has the rarity of being the feline with the longest canines in relation to the rest of the body of all those that currently exist. The cranial architecture differs in several characteristics from that of the rest of felines. The clouded leopard rarely hunts on the ground. It uses its unique physical adaptations to catch agile tree animals, especially primates such as gibbons, macaques, and nasik monkeys. It can jump from one branch to another with incredible precision, move along them even upside down, and descend along the trunks head first. When it hunts terrestrial animals, it usually does so by pouncing on them from the branches of a tree. Number 6. Palace's Cat this strange-looking wild cat is known as the Pallas's cat because it was the zoologist Peter Pallas who made the first identification of this animal. Many attempts have been made to domesticate this species, having been kept in captivity for years and exhibited in some zoos, to the point that the Pallas's cat has been thought of as domestic, but it's really a wild animal. The Pallas's cat is similar to a domestic cat, only larger. It has a long, dense coat and nothing uniform in terms of shades. The coloration of this cat is generally gray, but with the presence of yellowish or reddish tones. In several areas of the body, the tips of the hairs are white, which gives them a characteristic icy appearance. It also presents black spots and stripes in various parts. Usually, the area around the mouth and even below it is white or pale unicolor. The body of this cat is stocky with short legs, which have a coat similar to the rest of the body. Like every other feline, it has whiskers. The palace's cat in inhabits western Iran and various parts of Siberia. Palace's cats are mainly solitary creatures. In their habitats, they have wide distribution ranges, and they are quite territorial. They will not hesitate to attack another cat if it enters their territory. Number 5. Liger Meet the largest cat on the planet. The liger is a subspecies created by man. It is a hybrid between a male lion and a tigress. They only exist in captivity. It is the action of the human being that's responsible for the existence of the liger. In the natural wild, both species, lions and tigers, live in very different habitats and have very different habits, making their natural interbreeding unlikely. Its appearance is that of a gigantic lion with tiger stripes, although the stripes aren't as defined as in a tiger. Like lions, the male liger has a mane. It can measure up to 4 meters long and weigh up to 500 kilos, far exceeding the size of both species that give rise to it. It is considered the largest cat in the world. So why that enormous size? Well, because the growth inhibitory gene is transmitted maternally in lions and paternally in tigers. In this way, the free breed does not receive this gene from its parents. Hercules, who measures 3.33 meters and weighs 418 kilos, is a liger that lives in the United States. It's been registered in the Guinness Book as the largest cat in the world. He was born and raised at the Institute Institute for Rare and Critically Endangered Species in Miami, Florida. Number 4. Savannah Cat 
The impressive-looking Savannah cat is a fairly recent feline breed. The first specimen appeared in 1986 as a result of a cross between a Siamese domestic cat and an African serval cat. The result was this peculiar cat with a medium and stylized body, somewhat larger than a common cat and with very long legs. It's an agile, very active, alert, and curious cat and a great jumper. Its physical appearance is a mixture of the characteristics of the domestic cat and the wild cat. It's curious that, despite coming directly from a wild cat, its character is more similar to that of the domestic cat. It is affectionate with humans and, in principle, although there are still few references, it is not problematic. The savannah cat really likes water and going outside, so it has a certain tendency of escapism. This is so because of their wild genetic heritage, so there's some controversy as to whether this type of crossbreeding and its perpetuation with human intervention is acceptable or simply a human game to create new breeds. Number 3. Green Dragon Cat No, don't worry, this is not a real cat. Well, it is a real cat, but it had its fur dyed and cut a certain way to make it look like a green dragon. Who would do such a thing? Well, there's a pet salon in Russia that specializes in taking ordinary looking pets and turning them into completely different creatures, even mythical creatures, like this green dragon. They can turn your dog into a bumblebee or into anything you want. Who said that hairdos are only reserved for human beings? At this special salon, they don't use chemical dyes, as animals, especially cats, will lick away anything on their fur. They can't be poisoning people's pets, so they only use natural botanical extracts which have beneficial properties for the fur. Your pet can also show off colorful costumes now. Imagine the endless possibilities. Number 2. Chelsea Cat the Chelsea cat is a breed of domestic cat that developed by breeding some individuals of the jungle cat species to a much larger number of domestic cats. The first hybrids of jungle cats with domestic cats may have been born in Egypt several thousand years ago, but the Chelsea was only recognized as a domestic breed by the International Cat Association TICA, in 1995. Within domestic breeds, the Chelsea is classified as a non-domestic hybrid source breed. Seeing as Chelsea's are primarily descended from domestic cats, around the fourth generation they are fully fertile and fully domestic in temperament. Currently, the most authentic Chelsea's produced are state-of-the-art cats with completely domesticated temperaments. Chelsea's are bred to be medium to large in size compared to traditional domestic breeds. Most Chelsea's are slightly smaller than a male Maine Coon, for example, but larger than a Siam. Because breeders crossed the Foundation's jungle cats into mostly intelligent and outgoing breeds, Chelsea's are very intelligent, active, and athletic cats as a result. They are often very restless as kittens. As adults, they are calmer but still retain a lifelong playfulness and curiosity. Chelsea's don't like to be alone. They need to have other cats as companions or have human companionship most of the time. Number 1. Rusty Spotted Cat the rusty spotted cat is the smallest extant wild cat species. It measures from 35 to 48 centimeters in length with a 15 to 30 centimeter tail and weighs only 0.9 to 1.6 kilograms. Its hair is short and gray in color on most of the body with rust colored spots on the backs and flanks while the belly is white with large dark spots. The tail is darker in color and about half the length of the body. There are six dark stripes on each side of the head extending over over the cheeks and forehead. It is nocturnal and partly arboreal, spending the day sleeping in dense covers or shelters, such as hollow logs. They feed mainly on rodents and birds, but can also hunt lizards, frogs, or insects. They hunt mainly on the ground with quick movements to catch their prey. The rusty spotted cat is found in Sri Lanka and India. In Sri Lanka, they are scattered in dense, high-altitude tropical forests and are absent from the western part of the island. In India, the distribution is irregular and more dispersed, being found in most cases in dry grasslands, bushes, and open forests. As you can see, there are lots of wild cats out there, and some are almost never heard of. What about you? Out of all the magnificent and powerful cats mentioned in this video, which one do you think is the most dangerous? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!